Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video I'm actually gonna answer a subscribers question that he was asking me like hey tell me what you think is back-end development harder than front-end because there is a lot of misconception out there a lot of people thinking oh maybe front-end is a little bit easier than back-end back-end is a little, bit, a little bit harder so I'm just gonna give you my personal opinion there will be people out there that maybe they will disagree or anything Thing. so this is my own opinion and you can just agree or disagree with it so yeah so my opinion in this is um, I believe that uh, both they are uh, different obviously but uh, back-end is not harder than uh, front-end web development uh, you know because the front end right now is getting so much more complicated, so much more complicated and complex. <laughs> the, the, this is this is really amazing because now nowadays the, one of the good things that helped me get my own opinion in this is uh, I was always curious when I was starting as a as a front end web developer, like learning my HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I was always like curious. How does the backend works? What does exactly do a backend developer does? And once I did this transition that I learned with PHP, I learned C sharp, I learned how to work with databases. I I really saw wow. So this is what they. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> basically, let, let, let's. I'm gonna break this down per parts and um, and say. Um, Probably I'm not co gonna cover everything, probably I'm gonna forget about something, so don't start Oh, tell me, uh, you forgot about this backend development, <laughs> like <laughs> these trolls are doing <laughs> So, just, <laughs> just, just uh, listen to what I'm saying, this is my personal opinion I might forget something or I might not know everything, yeah, I'm, I'm not an expert completely I'm just gonna say that Backend uh, development, as I've learned, you know, you are you are gathering um, information from um, from users that they can write down forms, for example, or send a, any other kind of data, logins, and uh, all these kind of things to a database where all this kind of information is stored, and. Uh, he relies a little bit about these, you know, also blogs, if you are write down a blog, all this information about whatever you are writing down is going to a database, for example, a, a system, a system where you are sending messages between, uh, between users, uh, some kind of e-commerce application that you can build, also needs like a kind of backend API or something like to do this kind of transaction, um, so yeah, Backend revolves about these kind of things, obtaining some kind of values and putting them in the database or requires some APIs, calls, and uh, yeah, but now the front end is getting so much more complex nowadays because you have, you have to build your website you have to make sure that first of all there is a there is a lot of frameworks out there that is just completely uh, making everything so much more difficult oh should i learn uh, react should i learn uh, uh, angular should i like vue.js uh, should i learn these that uh, should i learn these uh, sas preprocessors -pre for uh, for css uh, do i have to use uh, grunt so much more things that they are going on and making everything so much more complex that front end is not getting easier it's just getting harder and harder and you guys have to see that whenever you are building a website nowadays is a must is really a must you are building a website this kind of uh, uh, web applications or whatever you have to make sure that your website is working well on desktops Desktops for all kinds of resolutions. You can have desktops with a, a square, a square screen, or a 1080p or a 4K. Your website needs to work well, responsive in all these kind of um, uh, resolutions. Your website has to work well in all kinds of tablets, iPads, uh, Nexus, uh, Nexus tablets, Samsung tablets, whatever. Uh, the same with the phones has to work well on iPhones, on Android, Samsungs, uh, uh, <laughs> whatever you know. 
the 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 complexity of this is getting so so much more and more and more as the time is going so as you guys can see, really the job uh, of, a, of a front end web developer is really getting more and more complex. You need to make sure, for example, that, that you can validate data on forms, for example, with, with JavaScript, with Ajax. You need to make sure that you can, for example, update content with Ajax without refreshing the page, getting some API calls to uh, display some kind of uh, content on your on your page, making your uh, your um, your website almost almost like an app that you don't feel that you are reloading the page if you are clicking um, to go to another section maybe it just it's just like an Ajax call and your page is never re like really reloading where you see like a spin going around so uh, yeah <laughs> This is this is this is my opinion on this. I I don't think that um, that back end is harder than the front end because front end is just getting harder and harder. And another thing that I com I completely forgot to mention is that uh, the, not only you have to make websites, this kind of web applications or whatever, you you don't you have to make sure that they work well on all kinds of. Um, devices like like I mentioned desktops tablets mobiles all kinds of resolutions but also <laughs> this is to make things even even harder is you have to make sure that they work well in all kinds of browsers because some people they might be using uh, Firefox some people they might be using Chrome some people they might be using Opera another ones they use um, Microsoft Edge or 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 even the the old style Internet Explorer, and if you are working professionally for a company or whatever, you need to cover all of these kind of uh, browsers because let's say that you are working in a, in an e-commerce website that you are selling uh, products. Uh, there could be a lot of people, for example, buying like people, old people or something that they have an old uh, laptop or an old computer and they are still using a, a Internet Explorer 7 or whatever. You need to make sure that uh, that your, uh, your website is working well in this kind of browser because people, they will want to buy products from this website that you are working on and uh, if, if the things they are not working properly or something, they will just say, wow, what's this? This website is not working properly. Everything is, uh, this, this layout is all broken. They are just going to leave and, uh, and the owner of the company or uh, the owner of the website is going to lose revenue in here. So uh, as you can see, it's really, really hard. It's getting really, really hard. Uh, the job as a, a front-end web developer. So. <laughs> by by no means I think that the back end is harder than than the front end, and uh, yeah, th this is just like some quick overview, my my own opinion about uh, the front end versus the back end, and I really think that you guys once once you you get a little bit comfortable with um, with the front end, I think you should transition to the back end. I I don't mean like uh, working exclusively on uh, on front end or back end, but you can do a little bit of both. This is what I do because I really love web, web development, and I was when I was starting out, I was always like really curious how we used to work on, with the front end and back end. And once I I did it, and I can see like wow, this is what I. Can do in the front end and this is how I can connect it with the back end uh, <laughs> it makes everything like so wonderful and uh, yeah <laughs> yeah so I guess that, that's it for this video guys I hope you like it and um, this is this is really like my my approach in this and uh, if you like this video give me a thumbs up share it with some of your friends that they still don't know like the difference between the front end and the, the back end and they might find this useful um, yeah, check out my other videos on the channel because I see a lot of people they just go and check one video and they don't see the rest. I have a lot of other uh, good content and I'm going to actually be, be launching some more tutorials on JavaScript because I see that you guys really like uh, JavaScript tutorials and probably in the future I'm going to do a bit more of React tutorials and uh, I want to do some PHP, some basic things about PHP, how you can do some logins, how you can send some value, some data to a, to a database, <laughs> just to help you guys out, you know, because I really love to do this. 
And yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you up in the next video.